waiting on my ACT is like waiting on a letter from Hogwarts. You know, like the anxiety. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? Hey, nurse friends. Today is January the 18th, I believe. Yes, the days just fly by now that I'm at school. And I don't always keep track of the dates. You know, you know how it is. And it is 7.03 in the morning and I just got off work. And if you want more information about my current job, go ahead and watch my last video. I will leave the link above. Just go ahead and click the I. It's a really quick video. But I'm just leaving that job and I am headed home. And there have been some new developments as far as me registering for the NCLEX and waiting for my ATT or my authorization to test and I know a lot of you are really invested in joining me on this journey to the NCLEX and it's only right that I let you guys know what's been going on so I don't remember when but I went ahead and got my fingerprints done and I actually recorded a little bit of that so I'll probably insert that here okay now that I have successfully backed out of my parking spot hey nurse friends long time no speak I am back again to let you guys know that I just got my background check done and it wasn't anything exciting it was pretty much the same kind of background check that I got when I was in nursing school the only difference is they had to take two photos of me this time and I did it at my local UPS store um, I thought that I had to wait for sorry that I'm not looking at you guys uh, I thought I had to wait for the state where I live to receive my transcripts for my nursing school before I got the green light to go ahead and get background um, to get a background check but that was not necessary what I didn't realize was that once I had pretty much submitted everything that I could submit on my end on the website and paid the state fee um, they send you a PDF with like everything that you've done and in that PDF there's a link to providers where they accept background checks from. A friend of mine from nursing school is the one who told me about this because he went ahead and got his background check done and I was like, oh. So I registered yesterday for, on. Um, I made an account on the provider website or whatever and I just picked a location where I could get fingerprinted near where I live and it was really fast. My appointment was at 12.30 and I kid you not, I was probably done by like 12.37. So it didn't take much time at all. And that is really all I have to say. Just wanna let you guys know, before, like you may or may not have to wait for your for the state to get your nursing school transcripts before you can kind of get the ball rolling. Yeah, so hopefully this will expedite everything so that as soon as they finally receive my transcripts, I can go ahead and pick a date. So yes, that was me getting my fingerprints done. Nothing fancy. I did that and then yesterday, which was the 17th, I finally paid the $200 Pearson U fee. So I've officially paid all the fees that I need to pay for the Inclex. All of the fees are paid at this point. Um, I'm just literally waiting for my authorization to test so that I can test. And there has been a few developments as far as that goes. So as you all know, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting some more for my nursing school to send my transcripts to the State Board of Nursing. I haven't been able to get a real answer out of the school. And more or less, through speaking with my classmates, I've heard through the grapevine that they will be sending our name to the State Board on January the 20th, which is two days from now. Yeah, so I don't really believe that. I honestly don't care at this point. I had my transcripts mailed out hopefully last Wednesday. They had paid a $5 fee to have that done, and I have not received not a phone call, not an email, not a text, not an owl message, not a telegraph, nothing from my nursing school about when my transcripts were sent out. So I'm going 
going to call back again today and hopefully they can, someone can give me a straight answer. So, I don't know where my transcripts are. Hopefully they're in route. They may or may not be because I don't know. But that's what has been happening. Hopefully by me sending it out myself and paying the fee, I can guarantee that they've gotten there and that the State Board of Nursing has received my application. So that is what I am doing. That is what is happening currently. And I'm still doing New World, but I'm not gonna lie. I made a calendar in my last video that I showed you all, but truthfully, I haven't been able to stick to it just because I don't have a test date. And I don't know about you guys, but it's really difficult for me to honestly buckle down without having a real test date. I can't sit, I can't go to the library for 10 hours and, and prepare for the NCLEX. And I don't know if I'll be taking it in three weeks or in another month or in a month and a half because of all of this lollygag. It doesn't mean I haven't been studying. I've been averaging about 75 to 100 questions a day on New World. And that's pretty much it. After I hit 75, I usually stop. And if I feel like doing more questions, I will. That's what I've been doing. And I still feel like that's been helping. I spend a lot of time going through the rationales, making sure I understand it, really understand the rationale. So, so if that particular concept comes back again in another question, I am well prepared. And I feel like it's been helping a lot. I have nothing but good things to say about you world, but I am going to save all my formal opinions about, about the U World QBank and my U World experience for a review video, uh, which I will record for you guys after I take the NCLEX because there's no point in making a video about something if I don't know if it's worked. Because the ultimate way to know if U World has really worked is if I pass the NCLEX. And so there's that. That is what is coming to you guys. And I also think I'm going to do just like some basic videos about registering for the NCLEX and how that whole process works at least where I live because it was something of a nightmare for me and my classmates because my school truthfully didn't really explain the process clearly and we were all very confused we we're all pulling information from different sources and it's really sad that that this happened seeing as my last course in nursing school was just a big waste of time like, they literally spent 15 or maybe 20 minutes going over registering for the NCLEX, how that whole process goes, and they should have spent more time going over it because the majority of us are confused. I'm just gonna... Okay, this car is extremely impatient. Okay, honey, like, we all just trying to get somewhere in one piece. Anyways, so I just wanna make a very basic video about registering for the NCLEX so that if any of you now or in the future or if you've gone through this when you were taking the NCLEX um, are confused then you have something to reference and yeah I will record a video about that and it'll just go through like okay what exactly is the NCLEX what is an ATT Pearson view all of that information in one video so that you don't get confused like I did. I also have a Snapchat now. I don't know if I've mentioned that already, but yeah, it was time. It was time for me to have a Snapchat. So I made a Snapchat. It's really fun. If you want to follow me, go ahead and follow me at The Black Nurse. And of course, I'm going to add you back because I want to know what you guys have going on. Anyways, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still preparing for the NCLEX, still using U World, still confused as ever as to when my ATT will arrive. Like, oh my god, I, I don't know. It's like waiting for a letter from Hogwarts or waiting for your first period to come. Like, it's just like, oh my god, when is it gonna come? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna feel? Am I gonna be ready? What is everyone else gonna say? all these emotions I don't know it's just so much anxiety and it's ridiculous and I just blame my school for this like school is tripping like tripping 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 but anyways I'm not going to uh talk and talk and talk I'm not gonna talk everyone's head off today because you guys know I love to talk I love to talk <laughs> So I'm not gonna do that. Why would you do that? Like, oh, this 
thing is shaking. Oh, sorry guys. And I'm sure you guys are catching all this audio from the highway and all of its glory. I miss you guys. trash because I bought this and I actually had the girl make it five different times and every single time it was awful and yes and this, this last version is less awful than the, than the previous versions but it's still nasty AF I, I think I'm gonna go back to Burger King I love Burger King iced coffee but they only come in one size I wish they had a large but they don't so I cannot enjoy Burger King iced coffee the way I want to. All right, bye y'all, bye. All right guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you again for subscribing. Hi to all my new subscribers, oh my God, I hit 300, which is crazy. I don't, I, I just wanna thank everyone for subscribing. I feel like this is, this is literally crazy. Like when I started this channel, I was like, 10 subscribers was literally my goal because I was like, who really wants to hear what I have to say? Like, me. Who wants to hear what I have to say? But some of you do, or some of you like following my journey, or maybe you just like hearing me talk after all. But I really appreciate you for subscribing and hitting that like button and commenting because I really enjoy interacting with the nursing community on YouTube. I feel like there is no other community on YouTube that is as supportive as the nursing community seriously for reals for reals like don't get me wrong i love hair and makeup and tech as much as the next person but because the nursing community is so small right now on youtube i feel like everyone is just so encouraging and so motivational and it's wonderful because on those days when i really don't feel like picking up a pencil or anything to start studying for the NCLEX, I will hop right on YouTube or Instagram and really be motivated through you know all the success stories I'm seeing and all like the comments I'm getting and that will push me to study um, some more because I'm like you know what not only do I have my family and my friends rooting for me as well as myself I'll have all these other friends out on the interweb that are pushing me to succeed and it feels really good and I'm getting feedback from you know current nursing students people that are already nurses and it's a wonderful thing because I know that someday soon I could be working out in the field with you or someone else and it this feels really good to know that the support is there and it's real and I genuinely appreciate it uh, so thank you but yes thank you for subscribing you the best hey guys so I finally have a snapchat if you want to follow me on the daily in my nursing journey 
go ahead and add me on Snapchat and I will add you back. So right now I'm supposed to be doing you world questions off of the app on my phone, but instead I want to play in filters. I really like these glasses. I think this is my least favorite filter because my eyes are already kind of big and these just accentuate how big my eyes are. Oh lord. I know I was just ugly, but that's okay because God loved me anyway. This is definitely my favorite filter, you know. What's a good selfie with on a thought band? <laughs> These Snapchat filters always try me because I have big lips. Like, this looks stupid.